Good afternoon, Jorge. Hi, Godfrey. It's nice to welcome you here today in our Westminster studios and on behalf of the European to be presenting you and on behalf of Cindy with your awards, Business Innovation Hub and FDI Promotion Agency of the Year. Well done. Well, Godfrey, uh, delighted and honoured. Thank you very much. And I accept these awards uh, on behalf of all of Cindy's staff, which work very hard every year to, you know, to satisfy our customers. Well, congratulations once again. Thank you. Cinde is a private, non-profit, non-political organisation responsible for the attraction of foreign direct investment into Costa Rica. With over 32 years of experience, this dynamic organisation has helped hundreds of companies settle into Costa Rica, along with winning numerous awards from publications from all over the world. Cinde prides itself in four key areas, assisting in site selection, meeting the investors' needs, networking and promotion for enhancing investment climate, with all of their services being free of charge. In addition, Costa Rica has transformed its economy to high-tech and knowledge-based services, which in this new era of megatrends provides massive opportunities for business development and growth. And Cinde strives to showcase the country's potential while providing the most outstanding services possible in order to maintain trust and integrity with their clients. And today, the Managing Director, Jorge Sequeira, joins us in the studio to discuss their work. Jorge, welcome. Thank you, Richard. Nice to be here. Now, why do you think Costa Rica has so much potential in regards to investing? Well, Richard, um, there are several factors, but the most important one, we always say, is talent. Uh, Costa Rica has invested heavily over the years, in fact, almost two centuries now, very heavily on the education of its population. And um, early in the, or in the mid 20th century, we abolished the army by constitution and we invested that money in health and in education. And so, you know, we have a fertile ground for talent in all these areas that you just mentioned. And particularly today, when you talk about these disruptive technologies and these megatrends, where companies are looking for talent in the, in the fields of software development, in the fields of cybersecurity and Internet of Things and all these other areas. You know, we're working hard to you know, have Costa Rica become an area or a region where companies can come and develop business out of our country. Can you further explain Costa Rica's focus on innovation and sustainability coming into play for corporations looking to have like testing labs and customer centric technologies or innovations that align with the well-being of their customers? Okay, we can start by maybe explaining what are the two most dynamic sectors of our economy today. One of them is the medtech sector. Uh, Costa Rica's primary expert today is in fact medical devices, over $3 billion worth last year. And we have a cluster of over 70 companies, 20 OEMs and many international suppliers within this sector. So it has become a hub really for, for tech, for med tech uh, in the Americas. And then you add to that a second sector has become the most dynamic one in our economy, employing over 60,000 people, which is the IT, IT related and IT enabled um, uh, sector which exported last year $4.2 billion. This out of a country that has a population of 5 million people. So when you bring those two together, you know, there's a convergence of technologies uh, and we go back to these megatrends and how one technology is impacting the medtech sector. In fact, we just had, um, we just celebrated this week uh, the Life Sciences Forum in Costa Rica, a sold out event with over uh, 600 people from you know, countries from around the world and the topic of it was, you know, how converging technologies are shaping the medtech sector. And that's because really Costa Rica has become a place where companies from the IT sector and companies from the medtech sector can come together and develop new products, new technologies, patent products. And, uh, you know, this is, this is an area where we've, we have really grown over the, uh, over the past few years. Because it is a changing global business marketplace. Can you tell us a little bit about Cinde's plans in regards to sustainable development goals and the importance of your company that it places on convergence of sectors, like you mentioned, uh, IT or medtech? Yes. Well, Costa Rica has a very well-recognized uh, track record in terms of sustainability and, and social progress. We have invested heavily as a country in that today we have uh, over 25% of our countries protected by national parks. In total, we have over 50% of our, of our uh, land is, is protected by the public or private uh, parks. Um, we, ho we host 5% of the world's biodiversity in a very small territory uh, that is actually 0,3% of the world's territory. 
So it's really a natural, uh, in a way, it's, it's a natural uh, lab, you know, for companies to come and do bio research, for example. But then you add to that, um, you know, our, our commitment to the environment by having a, an electric grid that's 99% sustainable or from, from uh, renewable energy, renewable sources. Uh, you know, last year alone, we had over 330 days running 100% on renewable energies. So, you know, companies that are very committed to the environment and in general to sustainability can come and do business in Costa Rica knowing that they're going to have a low carbon footprint and that they're being socially responsible. And it's been a busy time. You've recently been awarded uh, two awards from the European. You've got the Costa Rican Investment Promotion Agency Business Innovation Hub, Latin America, and the Costa Rican Investment Promotion Agency, FDI Promotion Agency of the Year, Latin America. But you were also recognised by the International Trade Centre for the United Nations as the best IPA. What do these awards mean to your organisation? What message do you hope to put forth with them? Well, you know, we're sort of obsessed with customer satisfaction. We work very hard every day to improve. So, you know, these, these awards don't make us, you know, uh, just feel comfortable and think that the, the job has been done. Actually, they commit us to try to become better each day. And it's all around the it's all around the customer, and you know that all the services we provide, from you know the moment a customer first wants to you know establish a relationship with us to define whether Costa Rica is the place or not, we have to be very objective, very professional in terms of providing them the best support and advice that we can to make sure that that you know Costa Rica is the right geography for the, for them to come. But then our job really starts once they say yes, I want to come to Costa Rica. We provide all the support. Uh, along the way for them to establish operations. And then once they're established, we also help them grow and diversify their operations in Costa Rica. We help them build relationships with the academia, for example, so that we can provide the right human talent. So, you know, these are all the areas in which we participated and we like to excel in each one of them. And you've been doing it for 32 years. So where do you hope to see Sinde taking itself throughout the next few years? Well, uh, as a country and a Sinde and, and, and together with the multinationals that are operating today in Costa Rica, over 300 of them, uh, 300 of them um, you know, we embrace uh, the, the Industry 4.0 and, and disruptive uh, megatrends as an opportunity. And that means that Sinde needs to play a role there to help the country through its uh, work, you know, through Sinde's work in attracting uh, multinationals and working with the ones that are there today so that we can reskill and retool our talent force so that it's prepared, again, to benefit from the disruptive technologies as opposed to being run over by that wave. You know, we, want, we want to ride the wave. And uh, we're playing a very significant role there, like I mentioned before, by attracting uh, international academia to come either to establish operations in Costa Rica or to develop programs in Costa Rica remotely. Uh, countries like University of Minnesota, Georgia Tech, Texas Tech just is inaugurated a new uh, a site uh, in Costa Rica and uh, you know we work very closely with the public and private universities in Costa Rica and adjusting the programs to what the multinational technological firms are requir requiring today. So I think that, that our role uh, you know becomes very important at this point because it's not only what we do but what the companies that we attract can bring to the country. So it's certainly a busy and exciting future ahead. Yeah absolutely. Okay, Jorge Sequeira, thank you very much for talking to us today. All right, thank you.